What is going on fellow alchemists? Welcome to Quasar Astrology. Today we are doing Pluto in the ninth house. So I hope you're all seated comfortably and let's get stuck into this one. So Pluto in the ninth house. What is the ninth house and how does it express itself in our natal birth chart. The ninth house is all about our higher learning, the philosophies that we take in, the grander expanse of the mind, the broader expanse of consciousness. This is where we see philosophies and religions and the broader questions being concentrated into the specific area of our natal chart. This is where we really try and answer the bigger questions, the meaning of life, what is spirituality, who are we, why are we here, all those complexities and very cliche things that have always been asked throughout the very history of humanity are all placed in the ninth house in particular. And why is that? It's because the ninth house is Sagittarius and the traditional ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter. So Jupiter is all about... So the traditional ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter and Jupiter is all about expense. It's all about asking the bigger and uh, more broader concepts and questions that otherwise most of us might not be prepared to really go after because we're so occupied and preoccupied with the concept, with the constant grind of everyday life. But with the ninth house, this is where we find our connection to the spiritual, our religious ability to pull from the ether and bring that in and make a, and form a relationship around that. So when you bring Pluto sitting in the ninth house, remember Pluto is about transformation and it's about death. It's about the magnetic energy of the undulating nature in the universe. What we see is that we see the undulating aspect of Plutonian energy being utilized and integrated into our bigger and broader questions. So, so we see a lot of people who become quite obsessed about the bigger questions when Pluto is sitting in the ninth house. We see people who are very, very concerned about finding the answers to the questions a lot of people want to know but might be too scared to find out. These are usually people who are very capable of going into the uh, not just uh, cults, but who are able to go into religious sectors that might be quite extreme or might be seen as quite, uh, you know, uh, perhaps going overboard or, you know, not doing the, not going through the normal steps and uh, levels that they're supposed to and rather just go to the extreme heights of expression and worship. So when you have that placement, you can also be someone who is very, very uh, authoritarian because you're so fixed in your concepts. Yes, it's a transformative planet, but it's also quite hard for you, for people to change your views on things because you're quite, you're quite militant and you're quite martial because it's a very higher expression or a higher octave of Martian energy in the chart. You're more concerned with your concepts of things and how things should be rather than how things are. So it can be quite hard to change this view. That being said, you know very well that what you onto or the things that you've collected and the, and the ideas that you have about the bigger questions, there's truth underneath that. You know, because Pluto is about extracting all that information and all the hidden nitty gritty and terrifying things in this part of the, of the house, I mean, in this part of the natal chart in the ninth house, you know that you're onto something. And so people might be very, might find it very hard to talk to you because you'll always say, well, you know, I practice this spirituality and I practice this sort of religion, but you speak about the very deeper concepts of it, where maybe people just want to speak about the lighter side of things. And so this is a very good position for research because it's looking from the polarity of Gemini or the third house. Gemini is that mercurial energy and it's pulling that and merging that with Jupiter, which is about expansion. So it's basically like a Mercury conjunct Jupiter type of aspect here because you're all about trying to research and learn and experience the bigger questions through the pedantic and mercurial step-by-step -step energy that Mercury provides. And um, again, you know, the trick here is that learning that through time, because Pluto is placed in this, your ideas, your concepts, your views of the world will change and they'll be very dramatic. You'll have very tumultuous moments. You know, you will, this is a sign for higher education in the ninth house is where you find higher education. But with Pluto, you might not get higher education in the normal manner. You know, you might not go to university. And if you do, 
you might not find that that's exactly what you wanted in the first place because it changes. Pluto is about that dynamic, rapid change. You know, it's, it's without warning a lot of the time. You just feel that this is not what you want and you usually act really quickly to get what you do want. And so Pluto in the ninth house is a very, very prominent position for people who go into religious sectors or who go into the higher concepts of education. Um, so your professors, um, because you're obsessed with the information that you find here, um, the religious leaders, the cult leaders can be seen here as well. And, you know, it's, 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 quite, it's quite a hard position to have because you're so, so fixed on this concept that you might be too involved in spiritualism or too involved in getting to know things in, the, in regards to the function and the nature of things because it's got that mercurial energy from the third house or from Gemini pulling and being interacted with in the ninth house in Sagittarius. You might find a case where you're too involved in things that the rest of your life might not be in order. This can create a lot of calamities down the road, you know, and it can provide a lot of issues was trying to breach out into new subjects and into new concepts that perhaps aren't linked towards the bigger and more broader and more vastly uh, spiritually rewarding type of life path. So for the alchemist, that was Pluto in the ninth house. I hope you really enjoyed that one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Drop a like down below. Go into the comment section down below. Tell us what it's like having Pluto in the ninth house for you, all the things you deal with. And more importantly, take good care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one when I do Pluto in the 10th house. So until then, goodbye.